Most people have never even heard of these salamanders, let alone seen one. Amphiumas are nocturnal animals that live in swamps, wetlands, and other slow-moving waterways with muddy bottoms. They have long, thin bodies, giving them a snake or eel-like appearance, which is why they're also called blue eels and Congo eels, though these are all misnomers. Unlike other salamander species, amphiumas have teeth, which can pierce human skin, so they can draw blood if encountered. They are not venomous or poisonous, though, as they don't inject toxins with their bite, nor are they toxic to consume. They do, however, produce a lot of mucus, especially when disturbed. Coating their bodies in a slippery mucus helps them to escape predators, though some animals are still able to eat these salamanders, such as king snakes, water moccasins, and mud snakes. In fact, mud snakes may exclusively eat amphiumas. In turn, the amphiumas diet is largely focused on crayfish, but they also take clams, snails, worms, small fish, and more. Amphiumas are found throughout the southeastern and central southern United States. They are the longest living salamanders in their range, reaching lengths up to nearly four feet. That's up to double the length of the hellbender, the United States' largest living salamander. Technically, not all amphiumas will ever be this long, though. There are three amphiuma species, and they're pretty easy to tell apart from one another. Amphiumas have stubby little legs they use for balance. On these legs, each species has a different amount of toes. There are one, two, and three-toed amphiumas. The one-toed amphiumas are much shorter. Amphiumas are capable of moving around on land, but their legs don't aid in this. They most frequently leave the water during rainstorms when the ground is easier to maneuver. They also lay their eggs in sheltered areas near water, though not necessarily in water. Something that sets these amphibians apart from many others is that the females fight over a male's affections. They find each other through pheromones, and the female can store the male's sperm for months, thus delaying egg-laying until the optimal time. Eggs hatch with the onset of rains. They are laid 40 to over 200 at a time, in strands like pearls strung together. The female remains with them until they hatch, making sure to keep them protected and safe from drying out. It takes about three to four years before the young reach reproductive maturity, and they may only procreate once every other year. How long amphiumas can live in the wild is unknown, though they've reached more than 20 years of age in captivity. For more facts on amphiumas, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to Casper for today's request. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.